Welcome back to my channel. As you can see today, I'll be making some Aki and saltfish, all right? And this is Jamaica's national dish. The Aki being our national fruit in combination with the saltfish, or you might know it as salted codfish or codfish, it then turns it into our national dish. All right, so I have some aromatics here. I have some ingredients here. I'm gonna go through the list. Um, I have some water on the stove that I put on to boil so that I can cook the ackee. Um, I'm gonna go through the list before I start to cook the ackee. But there's something about ackee and saltfish. When I was growing up, uh, because ackee and saltfish was our national dish and I knew that, I thought that it meant that every person in Jamaica or every citizen had to have eaten it. And I guess the older I got I realized that that's not a thing because I actually have family that don't eat ackee and I know persons and I have friends that don't eat ackee so I mean weird flakes I love ackee all right so we're gonna get straight into it and we're gonna go through the list right here all right so right here I have some salt fish I have three cups of salt fish that I boiled and I flaked it uh, so this is three cups of salt fish and I have two tomatoes that I chopped I have one onion that I julienne. I have a few sprigs of thyme. I have three cloves of garlic that I minced. I also have half of a scotch bunny pepper that I also chopped. I have one cup of bell pepper, both green and red. I have two stock of escalian. And of course, the star of the show, the aki, all right? And this is about five cups of aki. I might not cook all of it. Let's see as we go along. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is put the aki into the pot so that it can boil. All right. So let's do that. So now we're just gonna add the aki. You just wanna be careful when you're adding the aki so that it doesn't splash back and burn you. All right. And we're just gonna allow it to just cook for a few minutes and then we're gonna test it with a fork. All right, so let's allow this to cook. All right, so it's been about eight minutes now and Aki cooks very easily and I'm gonna turn off the stove now and throw the water off and then we're gonna go to the next step. So we have a, a pot here that we set on the stove and we're gonna add a third cup of oil. To the pot, we're gonna add the onion. We're gonna add the escalion. going to add the garlic, scotch bonnet pepper and the thyme. We're going to stir. We're going to add our bell pepper. We're going to add our tomatoes. And we're gonna to continue to stir. And 
now we're just gonna add our salt fish. So we're just gonna cook this for about three minutes before we add the ackee. We're just going to go ahead and add the ackee. We're going to stir it in. So you want to be as gentle as possible because you don't want the ackee to, to mash out. So you're going to gently mix it in. You also want to turn down the flames. As soon as you add the aki, all right. We're also going to add some black pepper. Not too much, maybe about quarter of a teaspoon. It may require more. You just have to judge based on how it is that you're stirring it, stirring it in. We're gonna add some more. And continue to stir in. All right, so this is what we have after stirring it together. And yeah, this is it guys. So I want you guys to comment and let me know what's your favorite thing to eat, ackee and sawfish. All right guys, so as you can see, very easy to be cooked. Um, and that's it. I'm gonna serve it up now with some I guess you'll see what I'll serve it up with. <laughs> Some fried dumplings, all right? Because that's my favorite thing to eat ackee and saltfish with. So let's go and serve this up right now. All right, guys. So there you have it for our national dish, ackee and sawfish and i've decided to serve it up with some fried dumplings if it is that you want to know how it is that i make my fried dumplings head over to my next video or head over to my channel where you will see my recipe for my fried dumplings all right so make sure so you check out that video because i will be uploading it after this one here so thank you all so much for watching if you haven't yet subscribed please remember to do so like comment share the video to a friend to a family to an auntie to an uncle if you haven't yet followed me on my other socials please do so you can follow me on instagram at cooking with shane 876 and on tiktok at cooking with shane 876 so thank you all so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video remember be safe in the kitchen keep cooking peace out